Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to teach you how to remove viruses from your computer, but before we start, please take a moment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell icon for more videos. We are going to be using Tronscript to remove the viruses. Tronscript is a script that automates a number of functions especially to remove malware, bloatware, repair damaged operating system files, free up space, defrag your hard drive stuff like that, you can do this do all these things manually, but Tronscript gives you an automated way so you don't have to do this one by one. It performs all these functions in a sequence. If you want to get Tron, just Google search Tronscript Reddit download. Click on the first link. Look for the Tronscript community page and click on it. You will find the latest version of Tronscript there. I will put a link to the download the transcript. Scroll down, you can use the torrent or the exe, but there's the latest version right there. Go ahead and download that. I have already downloaded it, so no need to download it again. Right click on transcript and run it as administrator. It is extracting the files for you. Wait for the files to be extracted. Open the Tron folder and copy Tron.bat and resources onto the desktop. We will run Tron.bat as administrator, but before that, we need to perform a fresh restart for Tron to run smoothly on the device. If you don't restart and run tron.bat as admin, it is okay, but in the process of Tron removing the viruses, it will restart the computer and you have to run tron.bat again. It will not start from the beginning. It will continue from the stage where it left off. Please don't forget to restart your computer before running tron.bat as admin. I have restarted my machine and I'm going to run tron.bat as administrator. You'll see this window coming up. It's going to be detecting that you have SSDs. Remember this is not defrag SSDs, which is not good for SSDs. You have to accept the license by typing in all caps, I, space, agree. Press any key to continue. Right now, it is creating a restore point just in case if you don't like how your system has become after running it. It's currently running Rkill, a program that terminates malicious tasks running in the background. No need to manually go through the task manager to end processes anymore. Rkill takes care of it for you. The process killer is up and running, and process killer is another one that backs up the registry. You can find it in c slash logs slash tron. By checking this, you can see all the changes that have occurred. If you're not happy with the registry modifications, simply double click on the reg file to revert back to its original state. It also run McAfee Stinger. McAfee Stinger is also capable of running and it effectively scans for a specific type of rootkit. It serves as a reliable standalone tool. It is performing various privacy tasks. It is running tempclean, which is going to clear your temp files, ccleaner, SSL cache, Windows update cache, basically all of the temporarily downloaded garbage that Windows may or may not be able to delete them regularly. Here is it, clearing the Windows update cache and deleting the temporary files. Currently, it is comparing the GUID list with 707,114 blacklisted entries. 
This helps in identifying any junkware applications, such as Candy Crush and the pre-installed software on computers that attempt to sell you things or offer trials of Microsoft Office. It also removes toolbars and any other type of junk that usually comes bundled with computers. It is using the PowerShell to remove the unwanted applications. We are at stage 3, disinfect, it will install Malwarebytes for you. I already have it. It will install it for you and it will open. All you have to do is to press on the scan and wait for the scan to finish. Once Malwarebytes is done scanning, you're going to have this window. It's going to show you many threats that it's detected. Just click Quarantine Selected, and then you're done after that you can close Malwarebytes, and you can uninstall it if you like. We are currently at stage 4, which involves repairing. This stage is incredibly helpful as it will perform three types of repairs. It will run an SFC, a DISM, and an MSI cleanup. These repairs are capable of resolving 90% of Windows issues. Whether it's the start menu not working, Windows opening different programs and then closing them, or any performance-related problems, these repairs will have you covered. It is running DSM or the Deployment Imaging Services and Management Tool, DSM compares your Windows installation with Microsoft Windows Update. If any packages or aspects are corrupted, it will automatically download and replace them from Microsoft Windows Update. This powerful tool can often fix many Windows Update errors, especially if your machine lost power during a critical update. After completing the DISM process, it confirms that there are no issues found with the image. That's fantastic. Currently, it is running the SFC, System File Checker, is scanning all the critical system files in System32 to ensure everything is in order. It will automatically repair any issues it finds. The verification has completed. Right now it's doing some check disks and this is checking the integrity of your system drive if there's been any corruptions. A lot of corruptions can happen during bad restarts. The verification has completed and right now it is disabling your Microsoft Telemetry. Microsoft Telemetry monitors various components of your computer, like device drivers, applications, and system resources. Microsoft collects data on crashes, errors, usage styles, and hardware configurations. This data allows the company to develop updates and patches for these compatibility problems. I will show you how you can enable the Microsoft Telemetry and the other stuff. At stage 7, 
it is preparing all the logs, it is going to reset the power settings that they've been messed with and also re-enabling the screensaver. So basically, it will address any final issues that could have been caused by malware or system corruption. And at stage 7, it will uninstall Malwarebytes which you don't have to uninstall it yourself. I already had Malwarebytes on my computer before we ran the Tron.bat so it didn't uninstall. I like to keep Malwarebytes on my computer. Tron has completed. I got a yellow screen at the end. I mostly see the green screen when I run Tron. Green means no errors, and yellow usually means it's indicating a warning or quarantined items that could not be deleted. A red background means an error was detected. You can review the end of the log at c colon backslash logs backslash tron backslash the summary log that is in that directory. After running Tron, I noticed some of my settings were changed. Tron disabled my Microsoft telemetry. I couldn't do many stuff like voice typing. My clipboard history was not working. If you go into settings then you type clipboard in the search bar, you can see it has written some of these settings are managed by your organizations. Also, I tried the voice typing tool and it was not working. The keyboard shortcut for voice typing is Windows button plus H and it says voice typing is not available. I'm going to show you how you can enable Microsoft telemetry settings. One of Tron's tools, O and O shut up 10, is an anti-spy tool for Windows. By default, Tron uses this tool to disable a lot of things that Microsoft would prefer to have access to. The process of using O&O Shut Up brings the Managed by Your Administrator message up. If you want to get rid of that message, you need to only relaunch the tool and re-enable Microsoft's telemetry settings. You can enable it by going to the Tron Resource folder and open the Stage for Repair folder. Select the Disable Windows Telemetry folder and run the ONO Shut Up 10 as administrator. Select the local machine. I will enable my clipboard history, enable all of them. It is creating a restore point for you. That's good. Scroll down and enable the telemetry. Scroll down again and enable the online speech recognition. Enable the application telemetry. It also disabled your Windows update, so enable all of them. That's how you can use the ONO Shutup 10 to enable and disable your Windows related issues. It is a very powerful tool. Close it once you are done. You need to restart your computer before the changes can take place. Well done for making to the end of the video. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell icon for more videos. If it didn't work out for you, feel free to let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to explore my channel for more videos on various topics. I hope to see you next time.